Hello. Um, so this is my MXL 990. Um, this is kind of a pre-sound test before I go out and do the uh, mic parts the upgrade kit for the MXL 990, um, which just came in the mail. I'm going to open it up. Looks like we've got a capsule here, mount, and some wires and such. Um, the capsule that I went with is the RK87. Let me, does it does it say? There it is. Yeah, uh, the RK87 capsule, uh, and I got just the regular circuit mod. Uh, oh, I also splurged and got the uh, the new basket, which looks very pretty. Very very happy with that. Not sure if I want to repaint the case, because um, it I kind of keep it in the shock mount most of the time. A very nice looking PCB. Yeah, it's a it's a really good looking PCB. Everything looks very nice. Uh, our bag of parts looks good. I can see the little uh, Omni toggle switch, which I'm excited about that. Um, and yeah, we've got our tested uh, resistors. Uh, and JFET enclosed, which is very nice. It's it's already pre-tested, uh, and we've got this nice guide. So I'm going to be following that, uh, soldering everything up, and uh, yeah, I'm going to do a kind of a um, a little before and after uh, comparison. And right now in Studio One, I'm getting about. Uh, negative 8 on average, maybe negative 7 dB. Um, I'm going through the focus right. I think it's the 18i8. I may uh, do an exterior recording with the Tascam uh, portable recorder on Phantom Power and just turn the computer off. So I might splice that in. I'm going to try and leave everything completely unedited um, between the two tests. Um, again, this is the MXL 990 with no modifications. And this is the MXL 990 after the modifications. And for the sake of comparison, here is the Shure SM57. And this is the Shure PGA 181, which is a fantastic $100 microphone. Um, so right now I'm about three feet away. Uh, I'm gonna stand about three feet away. Um, I wanted to show you how the omnidirectional works. Um, basically, you unscrew the microphone, and you can do it without the uh, without taking the cable out. And right here on the front, there's a little switch that says pad on and off. But you can choose to either install it as a pad, or you can choose to install it as a omnidirectional switch, which is what I did. And there we go. I just switched it to omnidirectional mode. I think the next thing that makes sense to test is uh, I'm going to plug back into the uh, the Tascam, what is it, the DR44WL something, um, and run phantom power through that. Uh, I'm going to be plugged into the bus power mode. I, I don't know if that matters. I don't think it imparts any noise. Um, but I'm going to plug into that. Uh, and turn the computer off so this room can get as silent as possible. Um, and then we're going to see how it sounds. So I'm going to give you some thoughts uh, about this test as I let the uh, time lapse of the build run in the background. So first, you're going to hear the MXL990 unmodded into the Tascam portable recorder with the preamps turned up all the way. So it's, it's just the, the room noise and the microphone noise. So now you're going to hear the modded 990 with the same settings.
So my thoughts are is that the microphone self noise is way, way, way lower um, now on the modded 990. Uh, you could hear so much hiss before at 100%. I will note that it seems like there's like kind of a, a oscillating super low sub bass sound that I'm hearing uh, through the 990 almost all the time. I'm really, it does get louder as I turn the mic around the room. So I'm kind of thinking that that might be an AC unit or a, uh, some kind of other electrical thing in my house that I just have never had a microphone that could pick up actual low frequencies like that before. Um, but I'm going to look into that and see if, see if I did something wrong. All right. So quick break. I'm in the middle of, of laying out all these pieces. Um, and it looks like they have updated the PCB. It's the version 3.1. And I was, I was looking at where the switch is going to go. All right. You see how it says pad on and off. Um, a pad is cool. It looks like they've upgraded the PCB to let you have a pad if you want, but I, I got super freaked out because I was like, well, I wanted it for the Omni mode. That's like one of the whole reasons I did this mod. Um, so I, I was looking at the manual and online and it says you can do both and choose if you want either a 10 dB pad or the Omni switch. Um, so obviously I'm, I'm going for the Omni switch, but it freaked me out a little bit. I was like about ready to email them like, what the heck? Um, but no, so everything seems fine. I'm going to go ahead and install it with the Omni mode. Um, and the next thing you should see is me actually starting to put this thing together. Um, also last time that, uh, that this microphone will ever exist in the way that it is right now. So say goodbye to the original MXL 990. It's done, I think, I hope, I pray. Uh, the, the upgraded head basket looks and feels awesome. Uh, this thing, it, they don't look that different, but they feel totally different. Um, it feels awesome. That being said, I'm probably, at this point, now that the chromes don't match, I'm probably going to have to paint this thing. So suggest a color. <laughs> Handling the capsule is absolutely nerve wracking. Other than that, everything went fine. I'm pretty, uh, I feel pretty comfortable with soldering. Uh, I felt like everything went pretty good. I did the, the input voltage. I tested it at 60 volts. Here's the, um, the old, the original capsule. Let's see. There it is. It looks all dingy and small and terrible, um, but it's been good. This is a, the 990 is a fine microphone. I'm going to put on the case. Right now I have it so that the button of a microphone is the front. I don't have a little label there, um, but also I believe when I opened up the, the capsule, there was a, um, a Sharpie marker mark on one of the sides. So I just assumed that that was the front. Um, so hopefully that's, that's true. Anyway, I've, I've got it on the front. I've got it in cardioid mode. I'm going to turn down the 57, uh, and I'm going to turn on phantom paper and we're going to see if we get sound. Hopefully I did not ruin this $350 mod investment thing. So. I hope to hear you in a second. Okay. Hello? Hello? Oh. Oh, there it is. Okay, so, so this is just through the... Um... Wow. Okay, it feels very quiet. Um, this is just going through the processing that I have set up in OBS, so this is not at all great. Um, Right now, the gain's only at about one or two. Okay, let's let's see if Omni works. Turning it back up. Hey, what's up, everybody? Oh, look at that. Turning it all the way around. Hello. <laughs> um, it, it does sound like you can tell a little bit of the difference when you're on one of the, the two ends versus on the side end. But you know, it, it kind of just takes out a little bit of the highs. 
Uh, it sounds really good though. You know, from this from this angle, you can pretty much go all the way around. So that's awesome. That this is actually the back. There's the front. Uh, cool. Let's get on to some real tests. Okay, so I'm just gonna give some final thoughts as the uh, time lapse here ramps down toward the end. I think this uh, this mod is great. I had a pretty good time putting it all together. I enjoy DIY projects, so if you do too, and uh, you want to try out a mic mod, uh, I highly recommend this one. Thank you for watching, and uh, let me know if you have any questions.